you choose to study computer science at GCSE level, you will study a whole range of topics such as computer systems, how they work, data representation, algorithms, programming, networks and cybersecurity. Computer science is assessed with two written papers. Both of these papers are 50% of your final grade. The first paper you'll be expected to carry out some problem solving activities and perform computational thinking tasks. The second paper is your theory content, so this will cover how computer systems work, network, cyber security and data representation. In addition to the exams, you'll be expected to carry out a programming task. This will take 20 hours, which will be performed in 20 lessons, where you will design, create, test and enhance a programme uh, based on a brief. There are many careers and post-16 pathways that you can move on to after choosing computer science, such as being a software developer, working in computer forensics, robotics engineering, games design or development, or even being a web developer. Or you could also make the choice to move into a more IT-based career, such as database administration. In order to be successful in computer science, you need to be resilient, a problem solver and independent. You will also need mathematical and logical thinking skills. A lot of this course is heavily linked to maths, so an aptitude for that subject would be a benefit to you. However, if you love using computers but you feel that computer science is not the correct route for you, we do offer an IT-based course called Creative Eye Media. If you decide to choose Creative Eye Media as an option in Year 10, there are four main areas that you will cover. The first is pre-production, the second is storyboarding, the third is creating a digital graphic and the fourth is creating a multimedia presentation. You will also be assessed in these four areas. The first is pre-production, so this is your theory content which you will get the opportunity to do an exam in Year 10 and you will have the opportunity to retake that in Year 11 as well. Pre-production is all about how we prepare and how we design for a client. So for this topic you will study how to prepare for video media, printed media and digital media. The other three topics that you will cover are three pieces of coursework that you'll be expected to do throughout year 10 and year 11. The first is a storyboarding piece of coursework. The second you will use Photoshop to create a digital graphic and the third, you will use PowerPoint to create a multimedia presentation that is interactive. If you study Creative Eye Media, there are lots of careers opportunities for you to move on to, such as graphic design, animation, you could even move into pre-production, TV and radio media, publishing or even marketing. In order to be successful in Creative Eye Media, you will need to be independent and motivated as there are a lot of coursework elements to this course. To complete the coursework elements, you will need to have a good imagination. You will need to be creative. There is an element of basic drawing skills needed for this course as well. And you will also need a good level of literacy. We look forward to welcoming you onto Computer Science or Creative Eye Media in September.
We look forward to welcoming. Oh, let me say that again. Blech. Why can't I speak? <laughs> we look forward to welcoming you onto Computer Science or Creative iMedia in September.